let's break down your your modified debut at Bowman Gray Stadium oh, on man, Saturday that, night. That was fun. We went up there. They had practice Friday. We broke a motor. Mm-hmm. Drove, drove for uh, David and Derek Hill, Hillbilly Racing, mm-hmm. which you've, like we talked about last week. You've driven for them before. and We broke a motor, so we took our time, fixed it all day Friday. Had another motor come in. Um, and it was fun just to get to hang out with the guys and kind of go back racing. You know, it was we weren't worried. We weren't worried about anything else other than just racing. So watched it on watched it on flow on Saturday night. Did a good job. Finished sixth. Finished sixth. Just kind of um, hung out first two hundred. But like even trying to hang out there, it gets a bad rip. I think people talk about like the wrecks and all that. But what what I learned is that a lot of the problems come from um, the nerf bars. Like you don't line up perfect, and then you get up over top of them and spin out. Uh, and you, it's tough to really tough to pass under green, but yeah, Saturday, 17,000 people sold out, dude. So we went there, practiced, did well, qualified, um, cause we didn't get to qualify on Friday. So you can kind of, it's like Indy where you can requalify. So we started 12th. Um, and then, yeah, you walk out there for the race and I was like, it looked like the Roman Coliseum. Oh yeah. Like, it was sick. It's sick. Um, it's packed. And then do you think that they can get with the time zone and actually have some timing and scoring? See, like I, the only reason I think that it would be better is for the uh, the first Accuracy. race, the sportsman race. I guess it was the first race. Yeah, uh, where they finish photo finish, and it's like there there can be some discrepancy. So it's like, uh, what happened there? Um, but also, like, there's some of it that I just wouldn't touch because, as much as everybody says it's screwed up, if they fixed it on the like, they would just bitch about NASCAR fixing it. Like, like it's like it's everything you want racing to be, and then they're like, well, we can fix this, this, and that. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, On the cup side, you, it is fixed, and everybody complains about that. And then you go to Bowman Gray, and, they, like, so no matter what you do, um, you're always going to have, the, like, the racing people complain about it, but what they're obviously doing something right because you could barely find parking, you could barely get in, and it was an awesome event. I was going to so. text you to bring me some fried Oreos. I never today. even got in the grandstands because mm-hmm. it was just so packed. And then even after the race, I hung out all, after the race. A lot of people came down. Had a lot of uh, people give me a penny. Don't they? Uh, don't they open the gate? So if you bought a grandstand ticket after the race, you can come down and hang out and get come autographs down, and yeah. t-shirts. Yep. Sign a couple autographs. Uh, talk to a bunch of people. Listen to the podcast. And it was just, it's you know, we do this stuff every week on the highest level with NASCAR. So it's nice to go back uh, to the roots and and um, just compete and. Remind, remind yourself why you started doing this, and it had I had such a blast. I'll do it again this year. We'll go run a couple more races. Over well, <clears throat> so that looked like a good time. There was one instance that was pretty impressive. You were able to knock somebody's air cleaner off with your right front tire. Yeah, but never to be. I did. I got up over top of uh, some fella. Some fella uh, knocked his air cleaner off and landed like oh, just right before the pit gate. And I went and then I plowed it down on the one. And I was like oh, that was dumb. I didn't even know if the right front was bent or not. But it didn't even knock the toe out. Like the wheel was still straight. So. That guy's that guy's air cleaner was not straight anymore. No, it knocked the. Well, I off. said to Derek, I said to, to David, I said, uh, "Is he still going?" He goes, "I believe you knocked his carburetor off, Ryan. I don't think he's going anymore." <laughs> uh, but they, That's true. <laughs> yeah, they had good bolts in our in our car. That thing stayed together, and they like said at the end we were able to scrap together. I, w- I would love to get a top five, but just a little bit too tight. Um, I think if we go there and work on that thing for a couple of weeks, we can win one of them races. That'd be sweet. 